But the face is the weirdest thing about them. Completely bare, with no features to adorn it. No mouth, no eyes, nothing. Hey spooky siblings, welcome to Wicked Wednesdays. My name is Red and this is Left on Red. Today I will tell you a story about faceless, nameless children. I still remember the night when my brother told me about these children. All the same height, wearing the same dresses and suits, and the hair neatly cropped, down to the shoulders for the girls, to the ears for the boys. Boring! But the face is the weirdest thing about them, completely bare, with no features to adorn it, no mouth, no eyes, nothing. Like a mannequin, but skin instead of wood. And even though there is nothing that can make the sound, the shrill laughter of the children echoes throughout their group. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. I'm intrigued. I asked him why they came and what they did, but he just replied with, for people who don't know their past. I don't know what that meant, and that's what freaked me out even more. The fact that I could go to sleep one day and wake up with them surrounding me. It kept me up for nights, wondering what it could mean, and it bothered me for years. Until three years ago, I had a girlfriend, my second, my first was very open about who she was and was completely willing to share. The second one, not so much. She was always a little withdrawn. Even though we were in a relationship, she never really liked to tell me much. I wanted to let her talk, but she never really thought it was time. And then I tried asking her directly, Why don't you want to tell me much? I asked her. She turned to me while we were sitting in bed. Because it bothers me. What happened to me? And I don't like to talk about it. Can we please drop this? Why do you have to know so much about me? Even though it bothered me, I decided not to prod too hard. I didn't want to come off as too pushy. Good, because it doesn't matter. It's in the past. And then I heard them. The laughter like children playing in the yard, distant at first, but getting louder by the second. I asked my girlfriend if she could hear it, but she stayed silent, asleep. I thought I was going crazy, but then they opened the door, just as my brother described them, with dresses and suits and those completely blank faces. He said mannequin, but this was much more unnerving than that. It looked like you could pinch their cheeks, but your fingers would slide off their skin. Yeah. Do not pinch their cheeks. They seem like they would pinch you back. I thought it was over for me. Whatever my brother meant by forgetting the past, I had committed that crime, and they were going to do whatever they would do with me. But they grabbed my girlfriend. Pulling her down to the floor, they circled her. She and I tried kicking them away, but it felt as if their body was made of metal. They circled her, 
grabbed her limbs and started to pull. And even though it hurt me to hit them, I tried to beat them away with my hands and legs, but to no avail. She squirmed, but I saw her armpits and thighs tear, and eventually, with a loud pop, her arms were ripped off completely in a bloody mess. Talk about an overreaction. Jeez, folks are entitled to their privacy without the fear of being ripped apart. Literally. And as soon as they arrived, they left. The laughter fading away as fast as the volume was originally cranked up. I called the police and over the years I consulted a psychologist. It took me a long time with a lot of work. But three months ago, I finally managed to ask someone else out. I thought it would be fine, provided I did not go too far with the questions. But I made the same mistake. I made the same darn mistake. I asked her in bed when I would meet her parents. She turned away from me and said, you won't get to. Before I could stop myself, I asked why. Why did I have to ask why? What possessed me to ask why? She said the words from her lips that scared me. I don't want to talk about it. That was ten minutes ago, and I can hear the laughter ringing in my ears. Oh, boy. Here it goes again. Well, if I've learned anything from the never-ending story, OP should try giving these evil little poopy heads some names. That might subdue them. Eh, who knows. And that was Wicked Wednesdays. My name is Red, and this is Left on Red. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell notification button so that you get notified every time Polti and I upload a new video. Until next time. We were ch-